When you check an ABG, you're going to get several values. You're going to get a pH, you're going to get a partial pressure of CO2, you're going to partial pressure of oxygen, and you're going to bicarb. Then you can use those numbers to determine whether you're dealing with metabolic acidosis or respiratory alkalosis or whatever. That's what we're going to focus on right now. I want to help you really understand this so you can be an acid-based superhero. In fact, now we're ready to be acid-based superheroes. So in step up, there's this complex version of the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, but you don't really need to memorize this for step two, Whew, right? I can tell some of you started having a little panic attack when I said Henderson-Hasselbalch. It's like kryptonite for med students. Henderson-Hasselbalch!